wait there. This wouldn't be a legitimate intro unless the Frenchies were in here. Here we go. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Yeah, straight the up. beast! The beast! Loves it, doesn't he? Right, Skegsy. Yes, sir. Nobody's really seen my living room yet since the videos do in my living room. Nobody's really seen it and witnessed it. Long story. How are you doing, lad? I'm all right. Oh, you yeah. good, lad? Nice to see you, lad. Nice, you too, mate. My Persian rug's in. Nice picture. My plants are... You shot that, didn't you? <laughs> Bromance. Bromance. So I've been thinking, mate, we've never, since the Revo day, Yep. Being out in the 500 break stage three golf R build nope. since I've since I've sort of gotten used to how it drives. Yep. Put my seats in, put my cage in, put all my car parts in. Yep. You and me have never been out in it, have we? We haven't, mate. No. So what would you say right now if we go out for a spin and I show you some of the power, some of the smooth gear changes, bit of boost, bit of chill, and just go for a cruise? Let's do it. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. And if I can scare the crap out of you, <laughs> everyone's going to love it, yeah. aren't they? We'll see, we'll see about that. We'll see. So, the living room build, as you can see, is done. I need skirt and board still, as you can see down there. I need to re-hoover my rug for about the hundredth time this month. This is where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea? <laughs> Whose idea was it? To get a rug for Frenchies. Also, here's a good one for you. I've got a massive slab of some fresh owner stickers. We sell these online, they're about 12 quid. You can win this free owner sticker right now. All you gotta do, subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and let us know when you've done it in the comments below. And smash the thumbs up button, it's a four stage process. Subscribe, notifications, comment below saying you've done it. What was the other one? And hit the thumbs up button, and I'll enter you into winning this donut sticker right nice. now. Long story short, <laughs> it's your fault, aren't it? We filmed nearly a full video <laughs> and realised it was on time lapse. <laughs> Where do you want it? I think a bit lower. There? A bit lower. There. Yeah. <laughs> That's mad. It's quick, that, isn't it, lad? Yeah, it's quick. So, we're out for a spin in the Golf R. It's been a minute. Hasn't been in it since the Revo tuning day. Yeah. Where he, he was let off lightly. It was absolutely hissing down, wasn't it? Was it was hammering down. Loads of people always ask me on my Mark 7R, what are my future plans with the Golf? It's one of the main questions people ask. Literally, as soon as they meet me at car shows, what's your future plans with the 7R? So I'm going to tell you some of my future plans. I'm getting a one piece carbon diffuser for the back that goes all the way from here all the way over this, all the way around the back. But it's not like one of the normal ones that you'd see in like the center with the sticking down bits. It's like a full big one piece one. So that's definitely, definitely one of my future plans with the 7R. As well, I am entertaining the idea of a printed wrap with something crazy on it, like pizza slices or something. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. Do you want people to throw pizza at it? <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for this? I don't think Are so. Are you ready for this? I don't think Is so. my best friend ready for this? <laughs> I don't think so. Jeez! That is intense. How does it match up to your, your Mark 7? I think, <laughs> yeah. It's just no, I can't even make a joke about it. There's no comparison, is there? Skeg's got a day diesel. I have. Two litre diesel. 55 pounds to the gallon though, what do you get? Don't look, what do you get? I get, right now, average consumption, 19.8. Nice. That's not that bad. That's not that 500 bad. 500 brake, often. foot to the floor. Yeah, that's pretty good to be fair. Suck my 20. <laughs> so we basically filmed a full video on the GoPro, it was on time lapse, so this is the second video, even though you're watching the first video. Nice. Uh, we were just talking about it as well, we were comparing it to the GTR, weren't we? Yeah. Um, I think this pulls, it pulls, it's, it's unbelievable, it can't be far off it, but obviously the GTR is made for it, whereas I think like the danger aspect is more in this car. Yeah, I think this is definitely a four pot, smaller engine, two litre, so it's on the smoke. The GTR I feel like has like a bigger engine, wider tyres, all that sort of stuff, so I feel like it's like 
a different type of speed, but I do feel like in a straight line, I do feel like they are similar. Yeah. I would definitely say the 7Rs. The well, it's a lot lighter as well, though, no? I would say it's definitely the fastest car I've had other than my two GTRs, yeah. and I would say it's around well, it's a similar amount of feel of power. Yeah, it's because it's lighter, though. I think once you get to 500 brake, you don't feel it anyway. Do you know what? I think once you get to like 400 plus, it all feels the same. What, just rips your face off pretty much? Yeah, just... It's intense, like. Alright, let's do it. Standard brakes. It's crazy. Crazy. You haven't seen the seats or the cage really either, have you yet? Oh no, like it's sick. This cage is unreal. Yeah. These seats are really good actually. Yeah. So um, when Skeggsy first pulled up at mine, he said, You've had you've made some questionable choices in vehicles, but them seats aren't one of them. Which yeah. is a, a semi compliment, a semi slap in the face at the beginning of a compliment. I, I think it's a compliment because they're sick to be fair. They're one of my favourite seats you've ever had. But you have made some questionable decisions on cars. It's about in, in pants and cars. Yeah. But yeah, these are unreal. Nice t shirt, bro. I know, cheers, lads. You feeling colourful today? Yeah, man. Obviously, it's raining right now. Yeah. So excuse the rain droplets. Um, obviously, these wheels are now my daily wheels with centre caps on looking <laughs> fresh and clean. It's just I've been all over the place sorting my splits out and that. Um, another future plan of mine at the moment, I want to get some fresh floor mats for inside this thing for sure. Um, obviously my wheels, I'm using my splits at the moment. So I, when I bought my splits, I got eight faces, one set of barrels and one set of lips to you non-car people. Three piece wheels break into three pieces so you can paint different sections polish different sections we'll do a future video on my split wheels we'll, we'll we'll break it down but i've got a spare set of faces the fronts which means i'm going to build them into a set of winter wheels that's my second plan so what will people want to know about your car what will people want to know about my car yeah what do you want to know about my car how long have you owned the car i've owned this car now two years just under two years. Did you have it standard for long? I had it standard for about four, three months maybe. Three months. If that. It's like still it, quick standard though. Yeah, like 300 brake standard. Yeah, it's still good then. Right? Then I went stage two, which was an exhaust, front mount intercooler, Rima, and an induction kit from Revo, which yeah. is a stage two. Yeah. That went to about 400, 410 brake. Yeah. And then recently we've just done the stage three at Revo, which is a new turbo, new high pressure fuel pump and fuel pump internals i don't know the technicalities of the fuel pump stuff but basically upgraded fuel pumps engine software and gearbox software and then i think something else as well yeah I, i've only been in it from stage two to stage three but i do the difference is mental just from stage two yeah, to stage three crazy, crazy. So what, what brake was it running at stage two um about 400 yeah so yeah. it is massive it's about 100 brake yeah mental like another third, another quarter of the power of it. Yeah, that's insane. I'll be honest, I don't really drive no. like that. No. I'm more of a show guy. Yeah. Uh, wheels slammed. How many sets of wheels have you got now? <laughs> Probably got six sets of rotiforms. <laughs> and I had nine, I've sold three. I had nine sets of rotiforms. What's your favourite? You see, apart from split, split apart from a split, it's probably the tough hours on this car. Yeah, let's see. Third plan is I want to get an upgraded splitter at the front that works with a Club Sport Mark 7 bumper. So you can buy a GTI one, a GTD one, a Mark 7 Golf R one. But because Club Sport GTIs, which this isn't, this is an R, but it's got a Club Sport front end on it because it's rarer. But because of that, I can't just buy a normal splitter for it. I'm going to drop the windows. It's very windy. It is very windy. We're on the seafront. I hope this works. I wanted to show you the overrun. As both. Still 20 to Still the gallon. Still 20, yeah. 20 to the gallon. 20! <laughs> <laughs> the 
7R. Shout out Nick at NHA. He's just done my splits. We've got the owner sticker. We've got the fitted sponsor sticker. Fitted was unreal. <laughs> is that the matching microfiber to the new tee? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chuck, is my keys so it doesn't lock itself. <laughs> Where's your centre cap for? Centre caps. Basically. You're supposed to. Let me explain. To be into your car Let me well. explain. What's going on? Maybe here? we should do a video in the future where we show what, what I it, use. What is this? Maybe we should do a video where I show what I use to clean my car. Let me answer my question. My centre caps. I took my new split wheels to Fitted UK, where I was a sponsor, where I had a stand and a ramp while you were in bed. Right? And. I made them easy access to put on at the location by taking the centre caps off these. Would it have been that hard to undo your centre caps? How long does it take to undo a centre cap? Long enough. 10 seconds? 50, enough. 15 seconds? Long enough. Listen lad, this is a this is a giveaway video. I'm giving my best friend my gold I don't bar. want it without the centre caps. Nah, let's have a look. Have a seat in the beast. I've got, I've got a Mark 7 Golf. So this is probably going to feel very similar. Yeah, it's the same as mine, isn't it? <laughs> Sick this thing. Sick in here. Unreal. Do you want to bag it out? Yeah. Do you want to bag it? Turn I'll... it on. Foot on the brake. I know it's turn the car on. It's keyless entry, mate. It's not like yours. <laughs> Hold it. Oh. Hold key? it, okay. <laughs> Sorry, lad. Nice. Right, hands off the steering wheel. I want to make sure the wheels are straight. Right, go on. So, on the centre, you. Press the button one once, then hold it, and then you can let go once it starts. What, does it, what do I want it to go down to? Oh, you don't, it just goes down on its own. Then you can let go now. Jeez! The tuck on that. The tuckage. Does it feel low? Feels do, nice. Do you feel low right now? I feel very Skeggs, low. Skeggs, you suit a bag down car, you know, lad. Right. So we're getting out of here, it's raining. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you get involved. We'll see you next time. Peace out.